Today we're going to show you all the best hidden features of iOS 7. Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric Mathfind here. Today I've got another really cool video, and this time we're going to be talking about the best hidden iOS 7 features. Now these are all the features that you may not already know about, but are still really cool to use. Now let me know if you find any other hidden features in the comments section below. Also be sure to check out my iOS 7 features guide video if you want to learn a little bit more about the main components of iOS 7. Without further ado, let's get started and look at some of the best hidden features for iOS 7. The first hidden iOS 7 feature I wanted to show you guys was the inclusion of dynamic wallpapers. Now some of you guys might have already known about this, but I did want to show it to you guys because a lot of people hadn't heard about this beforehand. Once you go into your wallpapers and brightness, which is in the settings menu, you can either choose stills or dynamic. Now this is the one you want to choose. All of these are dynamic images that actually move, uh, so you can set your lock screen to be a really cool moving image. If you take a look here, what we've set it to is one of the dynamic uh, wallpapers that we have. It actually looks really cool and really stunning on iOS 7, and that's a feature you might have overlooked. It's definitely pretty cool, and I hope Apple adds the inclusion of more dynamic backgrounds in the future. Another really cool hidden feature is actually in Safari, and it's the inclusion of shared links. You're going to go into the bookmarks tab, and then you're going to click on this little at symbol. What that's going to do is it's going to bring you to all of the links that were shared on your Twitter feed recently. You can go through all of them. It doesn't even include the link uh, in the actual thing because all you have to do is tap on it to go directly to the link. This is definitely a really great way to consume all of your uh, tweets uh, in an easy and more effective way to see all of the different linked content that's there. Another really cool feature in iOS 7 is the inclusion of timestamps in all of your texts. When you go into the Messages app, all you have to do is slide over to the left and you can view a timestamp for every text that you've sent. That's a really cool feature, only available in iOS 7. Now I'm going to show you some really cool hidden Siri features on iOS 7. The first one is you can actually search for images just by using Siri. Show me images of cats. Here's what I found on the web. So as you can see, it's going to bring you up uh, a few sample images of cats. You can obviously find some more images as well, and you can just click on the images to be brought straight to the page. Now, it wouldn't be a uh, hit video without a couple of cat pics, right? Anyways, uh, the only problem I have with this is it is by Bing. So I know that Apple and Google are in competition, but when I search for stuff, I really prefer the Google search results. Otherwise, though, it is still a pretty cool way to find uh, images really quickly just by searching them with Siri. Another really cool hidden feature in iOS 7 is the ability to correct Siri's pronunciation. Hello, Siri. Hello there, Alaric. That's not how you pronounce that. Okay, how do you pronounce the name? Alric. Okay, thank you. Which pronunciation should I use? And then they display uh, a couple of pronunciations that you can choose from. So you can just listen in. Alaric. 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 So this is the most like my name, so I'm going to select that. Okay, how do you pronounce the name? Heck. Okay, thank you. Which pronunciation should I use? Heck. 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 Okay, I'll remember how to pronounce Alaric Heck. From now on. And that's how to change Siri to either pronounce your name or any other words she might get wrong. That's definitely a really useful feature, and I'm really glad that they've improved that in Siri for iOS 7. Another really cool hidden Siri feature is being able to search Twitter just by using Siri. What is Philip DeFranco saying? Searching on Twitter. So as, some tweets. so as you can see, you can read whoever you want to search for is saying on Twitter. Uh, you can click the links just to bring into uh, the Twitter page. It's definitely a really cool feature that's involved in iOS 7. Now another cool thing about Siri is if you don't like the female voice, you can actually change it. Go into Settings, General, Siri, Voice Gender, change it to Male. Let's give that a try. Hi Siri. Hello. 
and there you go. You can actually get a male Siri voice. We're actually going to take a quick break to thank our sponsors. We'll be right back with more hidden features of iOS 7 right after the break. Stay tuned. This video is brought to you by AppNana, the cool app that lets you get paid apps, iTunes gift cards, and more absolutely free. Go to AppNana.com slash AppFind in your mobile browser to get started. Now what you're going to do is just log in and create an account. From there, you'll receive 10,000 Nanas for using our unique URL. You can use points to get all of these cool apps, Amazon gift cards, iTunes gift cards, PayPal cash, uh, and a lot more. There's a lot of great rewards all available on AppNana. Now the way to get more points is just to download regular apps that are absolutely free. Once you download the apps like Hotels.com, you'll be rewarded with free points. We just got 3,900 points just for downloading uh, Hotels.com. For even more points, use my referral code A4458 Five eight five nine. Use that exact referral code to get you two thousand five hundred more Nanas. You can use Nanas for all of these amazing apps. So what are you waiting for? Sign up today. Also, click here to watch the full App Nana tutorial. Another really cool feature they built right into iOS seven, uh, right inside the Compass app. If you actually scroll over one, you're going to be able to get a bubble level. Now this level will uh, be able to act as a level going up and down, but also on the ground as well. As you can see, we've got these circles, and they'll show you how far off you are in a very stylish way. I definitely like how they included this. So you place it on a flat surface, it should go to zero, and it'll shine green just to show you that it is level. Now obviously, it's going to show you what direction everything's tilted in. You using these circles. I definitely think it's a really cool, stylish way to uh, incorporate a general tool that you might use um, on a regular basis. Now, a really cool feature that's available in iOS 7 is the inclusion of having unlimited apps in a folder. I really love this because I don't like to make utilities one, utilities two, utilities three. I want all my utilities in one really simple folder. So what I can do, um, I'm just showing you representation, I haven't really set it up yet, but I can add in all of the utilities in one folder, as you can see, and I can put them in as many different pages as I would like. I can even create newer pages, so I can create a fourth page, uh, and you can create as many of these pages as you want, and you can store all of your really cool uh, apps right in here, and you can just scroll through these pages within the folders. I definitely think it's a really cool feature. Now, it's not really hidden, but I did want to let you know that it's unlimited. Some people might think that there's a cap. It's actually unlimited, so that's really cool. Another cool settings feature is if you go into general, background app refresh, you can choose which apps can actually refresh in the background of your browsing. Uh, so if you're somewhere else and uh, not have that app open, these are the only apps that are allowed to actually update in, uh, in real time and refresh. Now you can disable all of them just by toggling this switch. And you can also disable each individual one by pressing these little toggles. And that's how to uh, disable and enable background app refresh. Now I'll show you a couple other cool features that you can take a look at. If you go to general and then accessibility, what you can do is you can enable a couple different things. Now some of these have been here before like invert colors and uh, speaking text, but a cool thing that you can change is bold text. So say you can't really read it that well, it's going to uh, restart your iPhone and enable everything in bold text. We'll be back in just a second to show you what that looks like. So the iPhone is just restarted, it didn't take that long, and now everything's going to be in bold text. So say uh, you were having a little bit of difficulty reading it earlier, uh, you can actually read it much better like this, or if you just like bold text, you can have everything show up as bold text, especially here uh, on your uh, home screen and on your lock screen. It's going to show up bold, so it might be a little bit more visible uh, if Either you have something where you, you can't see it as well, or if you just really want that bold look, because I think it does look pretty cool. Another thing you can change in accessibility is say you didn't like all the movement that happens with the icons, you can actually go down uh, to choose right here, reduced motion, you're going to click here, you're going to turn that on. What that's going to do is you're not, when you turn it, it's not going to move the icons like it normally would. Now what this will do is it could save you battery life. So say you're very low on battery, see it's not moving any of the text, and uh, that's one of those things that can save you battery if you know you're going on a long trip, you might want to enable that. 
And those are basically all of the best hidden features available in iOS 7. Now, if you find any additional iOS 7 hidden features that weren't listed in this video, let me know in the comment section below. We're all really interested to find out. And uh, once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If I taught you something today, be sure to subscribe. I got more videos coming. I do tons of app reviews, uh, and I got a lot of great tutorial videos as well. Once again, I'm Alex from MapVind. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.